Hi, I'm Pat Martin. It's really a pleasure to be here tonight. I wanted to um, <laughs> wanted to talk to you about our um, the program that the Health Sciences Libraries uh, was involved in over the last couple of years, called the Michigan Health Literacy Awareness Training Program. It's quite a name, huh? This is a project that started two years ago um, when I started talking to Chris Roberts, who was then director at Washtenaw Literacy, about possible things that the health sciences libraries could do with them to address some issues of, of literacy, particularly health literacy. And one of the things that Chris said was, I thought, really interesting. She said that they didn't see the level of referrals coming to them from the medical community that they expected based on the numbers that they know are out here in the county for people with literacy challenges. And so we thought, well, maybe we need to do something about awareness raising, either of low literacy or the possible, possibly the services that are available in the community, or maybe both. So we, um, we formed this little partnership between the two organizations, and the Health Sciences Libraries applied for um, money from the National Network of Library of Medicine Greater Midwest Region, and we were awarded a subcontract. We applied under the Health Disparities umbrella, which of course makes a lot of sense, and we were funded to proceed with the project. We had basically four goals, and I'm going to talk to you about where we got with each of these, but the first one was to develop a workshop that we could take on the road and use with clinics, um, health professionals, and so forth. Um, and then we actually, number two, wanted to do it. We wanted to go into the clinics and, and work with people in underserved areas. We developed a website to pull together what we learned when we worked with um, the people in the clinics and so forth to make this information readily available. And then we wanted to have a community forum, and this is that, so it brings us pretty much to the end of this particular project. As far as developing the, the, the training workshop itself, the first thing we did was um, have a cross-training between the Washtenaw Literacy staff and the Health Sciences Library staff. We were talking about doing sensitivity training, and Washtenaw Literacy is very, very good at this. So they came down here to work with us. 18 staff members attended, and they, for two hours, took us through the, liter the health or the literacy awareness training business with particular focus on health literacy, where we looked at things like um, medication labels and permission forms and so forth. Um, then I spent a couple hours with the Washtenaw Literacy folks showing the Medline Plus, which is one of the big resources you know, for health information for us ordinary folk, and um, it has a lot of appropriate materials for people who have language challenges. Uh, we had really, really great feedback from the staff here on the, on the sensitivity training. They shared a lot with us that really helped uh, inform how we were going to approach doing the, this workshop on the road. So then we actually went out and did it. Um, when we first started planning this, I started calling clinics all over the area. I'll, I'll bet I called 10 or 12 or 15. I, did, I, I called places I'd never heard of and tried to enlist people's help in letting us come in and do this training with them. Um, I ended up going to two clinics. We took our show to two clinics. We learned our big lesson in this was the value of clinic time. They thought this was very worthy. They really hoped they could participate, but they just, it was, you know, time is money, time is care time. It was very, very difficult to get our foot in the door. Uh, we w did go into uh, Ypsilanti Health Center, which is a U of M facility. They were great to us. We had both staff and physicians at our session. And we went um, to uh, another clinic, a pediatrics clinic. The content of our 
sessions were the sensitivity training and the Medline Plus, plus other sites that we thought were really great to look at. Um, and we learned a lot through this session. We learned a lot. We had debriefs at the end of these, and the staffs, especially those out at, at the Ypsilanti Clinic, were just so generous with their input that it really helped us guide our, our work. We also had a session in a pharmacy class. One of the faculty over at the School of Pharmacy, or the College of Pharmacy, called and said, told me that she was taking her students to Detroit to do a, some outreach work and they would be counseling people in some of the um, depressed areas to, who came in to pick up their medications. And she thought there was a chance they may run into this problem, the problem of literacy there. So we did a couple hours there, again, the sensitivity and the Medline Plus and related resources and got some great feedback from those 12 students as well. Then we went ahead and did some what we call in the health sciences libraries open workshops. That just means we design them, we advertise them, anybody on campus can come um, and we held them here in this building. We had representations from several departments and, and we were really quite glad. We even had a, a manager of one of the branch clinics come in and we kept asking them, what do you hope to get out of a class like this? What do you hope to get out of a class like this? <coughs> the class plan itself, it, we dealt a little bit with low literacy. My assumption in their coming to the class was that they already realized that this was a problem. So we didn't spend a whole lot of time on that. We did talk about basic literacy facts and implications for health. Then we went on to tell them how they could um, try to determine the evaluation, the level of literacy in their patients and in their office materials. And then most of the time was spent talking about some of the, the remedies that are available to them, such as Ask Me Three or Plain Language. Um, we talked about the translation services here in the health center. Um, we went online through our website, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, and investigated some of these resources. And then we went ahead and developed the website, and I'm just gonna show you this in just a moment. Um, and that's the URL for it. I know you have it on a magnet and on the program and all that. We really hope that you'll come and take a look at this and see if you have suggestions for us making it better. And then our fourth goal was to do this, this community forum. And I'm so glad you all came. And I hope you're coming tomorrow. There are other things going on tomorrow. 